Allow time for grief. Most often, we associate grief with the death of someone we love. In truth, we can grieve many things. The loss of a dream, broken relationships, a change in our health, job changes, job losses, a change in our way of life, moving, retirement, and sometimes we grieve what was or what was to be. I've walked through seasons of grief in my 37 years, but none quite like the death of my father in May of 2020. My healthy 63-year-old dad, who was just beginning to enjoy retirement, was one of the first 100,000 to die from COVID-19 in the United States. I was completely in shock. I didn't see this nightmare coming, but it came and it wrecked my world. And I've learned that the grief journey is not linear, nor is there a timetable to predict its course. Typical stages of grief are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. And from personal experience, you can jump all around those and circle back around in any kind of order. Most research proves that you can experience the acute and worst depth of grief up to 18 months after the loss. This is proven chemical and hormonal changes that impact you physically in the grief process. With that can come anxiety, depression, sleep disturbances, appetite changes, and brain fog. You cannot rush this process. For me, my body would not let me rush it. I required a lot of sleep. There were days where I was okay, and then days where I wasn't. And on the days where I wasn't, I just had to stop and listen to my body. Additionally, part of my wrestling included trying to reconcile believing for the miracle that my dad would be healed, and then God choosing to take him home to heaven anyway. I did not get what I had prayed for and what I had believed for. And my dad is gone, and I'm heartbroken but I've allowed time for the process of grief and I've leaned into Jesus and now I can confidently say that I've learned that immense pain and joy can coexist. And it's in experiencing the darkness that we truly appreciate the light that breaks through it. And that takes time. Sitting in our suffering is uncomfortable and not something that we have traditionally taught people to do very well, but it's necessary and it's worth it.